Hi guys, this is Sandeep from Phone Arena. This is day 300 of 2016 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, your everyday fix of technology news. TCL has made a really interesting announcement today by announcing a 65-inch 4K TV. No, that's not the really interesting part. What is really interesting is the fact that it is priced really low at an attractive price of Rs. 79,990. Rupees. And now that's really, really cheap considering the fact that you get a 65-inch TV, but one that also has 4K of resolution. Most of the other propositions from brands such as Lure TV as well as Wu start at a price of 1 lakh or above. So this makes it the cheapest 4K TV you can buy with 65 inches of display size. It comes with a quad-core processor, 2GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage. Now since this TV has been priced at such a low price point, it remains to be seen whether it'll force other competitors such as Lure TV as well as Woo to reduce the pricing on their TVs as well. Apple has just reported that it generated a revenue of $46.9 billion and a net income of US$9 billion which is down 23% year on year and this is the first time in 15 years that Apple is actually seeing a negative growth in terms of the revenue as well as income. Apart from that, the sales of iPhones are up by 50% in India which is surprising considering the fact that total overall sales are down by 23% compared to the previous year. However, Apple could probably mint some money due to the new MacBooks which are set to be announced tomorrow at an event in USA. Apple is expected to launch a new line of MacBooks tomorrow starting with the new MacBook Pro Retina which is long overdue in terms of an update. The new MacBook Pro has just been leaked in new official images that showcase the top bar of function keys being replaced by an OLED touch display which could also possibly house a touch ID fingerprint sensor inside it. Apart from that we'll also get a brand new updated model for the MacBook Air and a smaller MacBook Pro Retina 13.3 inch device and finally it should also see a brand new list of connectivity options with Apple reportedly ditching the USB type A port in favor of the USB type C and Thunderbolt 3 display ports. Just like most of you out there I also was really really disappointed when Samsung had to cancel the Galaxy Note 7 because of all the issues. It was a really complete smartphone and you would have to search long and hard in order to find a better smartphone out there that had all the positives that it had. However, now that it's gone, Samsung is actually ramping up all that it can for the next Galaxy S8 smartphone that's coming out and that even includes an optical fingerprint scanner that is housed beneath the glass or beneath the display and you won't have to have it in the home button as you did in the past. Now the main reason for this could be the fact that Samsung is expected to introduce an all touch screen display up front, something that has really really minimal bezels just like the Mi Mix smartphone that was announced yesterday. This would give Samsung an edge, pun intended, over the competition and you could see Samsung turning around its fortunes for good. Today's deal of the day is an offer on the HP APU quad-core A8 laptop that has a 15.6 inch display. It comes with 4GB of RAM, 1TB hard disk drive and Windows 10 home out of the box. It is available at a discounted rate of Rs 23,990 compared to the MRP of Rs 26,490. You can claim the deal exclusively through Flipkart from the link in the description below. So that brings us to a point of today's discussion. What do you guys think about the new MacBook Pro Retina that has been leaked? It will be officially announced tomorrow and do you plan on getting one yourself? If so, let us know in the comment section below and if not, do let us know why as well. See you again tomorrow with more technological news.